In this question, we need to figure out the acceleration and the position at 8 seconds and 12 seconds using the given velocity time graph. Let's first write down the velocity equations for each segment, which is actually given to us in this equation. For the first segment, between 0 seconds and 4 seconds, we have v equals 1.25t. For the section between 4 seconds and 10 seconds, we have v equals 5, and the last section between 10 and 15 seconds is v equals negative t plus 15. To figure out the acceleration, we need to remember that acceleration is equal to the derivative of velocity with respect to time. Taking the derivative of each velocity equation gives us the acceleration. Since we only need the acceleration at 8 seconds and 12 seconds, we just need to look for the segment corresponding to the time. For 8 seconds, we see that the acceleration is 0 meters per second squared, and for 12 seconds, we see that it's negative 1 meters per second squared. Now, let's find the position. To find the position, we need to remember that velocity is equal to the derivative of displacement with respect to time. We can also write it as ds is equal to v dt. We can integrate this equation to figure out the displacement. To start, remember that the bike starts from rest at a time of 0, which will be our lower bounds for the integral. When we solve it, we get our displacement equation. Let's figure out the position of the bike at 4 seconds since we need it to integrate the next segment. At 4 seconds, the bike moved 10 meters. Now we can write the next integral for the next segment with the lower bounds of 10 meters and 4 seconds. Solving gives us the displacement equation for the segment between 4 seconds and 10 seconds. Let's substitute 10 seconds into this equation to figure out the position of the bike at 10 seconds. Solving gives us 40 meters. So the bike is now at a position of 40 meters at 10 seconds. We will use these as our lower bounds for the next integral. We now have all the equations for displacement. To find the displacement at 8 seconds, we will use the middle segment equation. Substituting gives us 30 meters. To find the displacement at 12 seconds, we need to use the last segment equation which gives us 48 meters. If you have any questions or you have suggestions on how to make these videos even more helpful, please let us know. And if this video helped you, please give us a like. Thanks for watching.